Hey everyone, today I wanted to rank all six of Three Days Grace's albums from my least favorite to my favorite. I discovered this band right around the time that 1X came out and I've been a big fan ever since. I did see them live one time. I think it was right around the time that uh, Life Starts Now was coming out and they were on tour with a bunch of other bands like Avenged Sevenfold, uh, Seether, uh, Breaking, or I mean uh, Bull For My Valentine, bands like that. And um, I would really like to see them again. Uh, but I also am more of a fan of their original singer, Adam Gontier, than their current singer, Matt Walst. While I do like him, I liked him better with his original band, My Darkest Days. And I'll get it, get into more of that as we go. But they have two albums with Matt and they have four albums with Adam. And as you'll see here, that uh, like I said, I do prefer Adam's uh, vocals and just the, the songwriting, I think, are, is much stronger with Adam. So we're going to start off here with my personal least favorite, and then that is their fifth album, and that is Human. Uh, this is the only album by them I don't own. I really don't like many songs on here. I like Painkiller and I Am Machine. Um, some of the other ones I can listen to, but none of them am I like really, I think are all that memorable, and do I like really want to go out and listen to. Um, so for me, this is definitely their worst album, and this was the first album that Matt took over. He's the brother of... I think it's the drummer, um, and I don't think he does a bad job, and his vocals are good. I just think that he fit better with My Darkest Days, and uh, this album for me was kind of like them still trying to find who they are with Matt, and still trying to kind of copy what Adam left when he actually left the band. So, uh, yeah, for me, this comes in at number six. Next, number five, is the album that followed that, and I do think it is much better. Uh, still having Matt as the singer, and that is Outsider. Uh, not every song do I like, but I do like most of the album. The Mountain is really good. Infrared is my favorite song on there, and I do feel like that one is a lot closer to what My Darkest Days was, and I think that if they kind of took that sound or that kind of style and made Three Days Grace's sound or, or style kind of a mixture of both, um, I think it works a lot better because I think the problem with Human was they were still trying to take what Adam Gontier had and kind of make the, this new style uh, with Matt, and I just don't think it works as well. Whereas Matt, I think, does a more uh, pop rock sound better, and I think this album takes that. Uh, now, I'm sure a lot of old Three Days Grace fans might not like that, but I still think that they're a good band, and I think that if they kind of mix the two sounds together, uh, like they kind of did on certain songs on here, it's a lot better. Uh, I like, let's see, The Mountain, Infrared, um, Nothing to Lose But Use All Right, Strange Days I do like, Villain I'm Not, Chasing the First Time, The Abyss. Uh, the only songs I'm not a big fan of on here is The New Reel, and... I am an outsider. Uh, they feel more like songs that would be written by a high school band singing about how they feel in high school. So those are really the only songs on there that I kind of don't feel like fit. Um, it It's not a bad album. I still like it enough to own it, and I think it is much better than Human. Uh, but for me, it does come in at number five. Next is their fourth album, and it comes in at number four, and that is uh, the last album where Adam Gontier was the singer, and that is Transit of Venus. Uh, I was very excited for this album whenever it came out, but I do feel like it is a little bit disappointing. Uh, this cover art, and or I guess I should say the album art, is really great in here, I do have to say. Um, and I think that is one of the... Uh, minor things that I do like about owning CDs is you get to see like the artwork and a lot of fans take a lot of time into showing artwork um, and that whole inside case has a bunch of it but um, yeah so this album I do like most of the songs and I do think that they're a lot stronger than Outsiders. Uh, Sign of the Times is how the album starts off and I do think it's a good song although it isn't that memorable. Um, Chalk Outline I do really like High Road, um, Anonymous is all right, Misery Loves My Company. Given to Me, I think, is actually a cover of a Michael Jackson song. Uh, I don't know the original. I don't listen to Michael Jackson, but uh, their cover is all right. Happiness is really good. Uh, Broken Glass, 
Unbreakable Heart. I'm not off the top of my head. I can't really remember uh, Time That Remains or Expectations too well. It's been a few years since I listened to it, but um, this album takes a more electronic sound, which Adam didn't really like, and I think that was one of the reasons why he left. He uh, His albums now with his new band, Saint Sonia, are sounding more like Three Days Grace, where uh, the old Three Days Grace, where uh, this album sounded more like what Three Days Grace has become, and I can see why he, I guess, left over that. This album, to me, uh, isn't bad, but the sound is definitely different. It has, you know, that electronic sound mixed with rock sound, and uh, it doesn't work for all the songs. I do think for, like, Chalk Outline it works, um, Sign of the Times, and then, like, some of the other songs I mentioned, but for me... It's kind of in the middle um, or, or towards the, the far end and is definitely, in my opinion, the worst of the Adam Gontier albums. Uh, but I still do enjoy it and I listen to it from time to time. But I usually do stick to the songs that I like and don't really listen to the other ones as much. So that's why it comes in at number four. At number three is their third album, uh, and that is Life Starts Now. This is pretty much a great album. From here on, all their albums are good from start to finish. There's maybe like one song that I don't listen to all that much, but uh, this song, Bitter Taste, is one of my favorites. World So Cold may be my favorite. Uh, Three Days Grace song, uh, Lost News Great, The Good Life, No More, uh, Last to Know, Someone Who Cares, Bully. Um, the only one, oh yeah, okay, I, I remember Without You Now, yeah. So this, this whole album I really like. Uh, and honestly, the only reason I would say it's a little bit uh, of a less, I don't want to say it's less, but uh, why I put it at number three and not maybe one or two is because it's not as heavy as their first two albums, and you can tell that uh, it's leaning more towards the side of Transit of Venus with the electronic sound, but it's not quite there yet. Um, but I do really like this album, and I think it has a really some really great songs on it, and World So Cold, like I said, may be my favorite. Um, it's kind of a tie for a few songs of theirs. And I've listened to it plenty of times, and it's got also some interesting artwork inside uh, with a, what is that, like a crane grabbing a snake, and a snake wrapped around a uh, crow. And then on the front here, the album cover is them bashing a bunch of TVs with baseball bats and crows flying out. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to mean, but it looks cool, so... Um, Next to number two is their second album, and that is 1X. This album and their first album, honestly, are almost tied for me. The only reason this comes in at number two is because I've listened to their original album so many more times than this. But I think that this was the band, or this was the album that really got a lot of people into the band. Uh, from start to finish, it's great. It's All Over, Pain, Animal I've Become. You've heard probably all these songs. If you're a fan of the band by now, you've heard them to death just because it is such a great album. Um, really weird stuff, like uh, art in here. There's like a bunch of fish. As you can see, they're all red, but one is black. It's supposed to be the 1X, the outlier in the bunch. And that's kind of what the some of the songs are about. Um, my favorite song on here is probably Animal I Have Become or Pain. Uh, just the meaning behind a lot of these songs is a really great um over and Over and Gone Forever are also some of my favorites. Um, 1X, I'd say, is probably the weakest song on here, and I still think it's a good song. So, uh, For sure, this is a great album, and I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've, you've heard it. Uh, and then at number one is their original album, or their debut album, that is just called Three Days Grace. Um, for a lot of people, this would probably come in maybe second or third, for me personally, why I really like it is it's another one that I can listen to start to finish, but uh, I feel like this is almost like filled with underrated tracks that they didn't play almost any of these live except for I Hate Everything About You whenever I saw them. And I think that the songs on here are really great. Um, Scared is one of my favorite songs. Uh, Drown, Take Me Under, uh, Burn. It, it's got a lot of great songs. Home. Uh, and I listen to this one more than any other album. Whenever I want to listen to them, I usually pick this one. Uh, I will usually pick 1X right afterwards, but um, 
for me i just really like the sound on this one it feels like a hard rock sound and i think that if they would have stuck with that sound on this one and 1X, which for me, really, this is like 1A and that's 1B, but if I'm ranking them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is number one for me just because I listen to it more so than any other album. But um, I really would have liked them to stick to that sound with these two albums, and uh, maybe Adam would still be with them. But I still like the band with Matt, and I uh, will still support them and buy their albums. The only one that I will probably never buy, though, is Human just because it only has two songs that I like and I don't really ever listen to it. So that's my ranking. Um, I'm going to try to rank all of Disturbs, out, Disturbs albums and we'll see if I can get the last one that I need. Uh, I rented the ones that I don't have from the library. for the, I did that with Human. And then the two albums that I don't own by Disturb, I'm still waiting for them to come in, but um, it's just taking a while. My library is kind of slow with getting stuff in. Uh, besides that, I also uh, did my entire movie collection. I have it filmed. I'm just trying to uh, edit it and also somehow get it onto YouTube because for some reason my phone isn't connecting to my computer right now. But uh, besides that, we'll see if anything else comes up. I might just do something in between there. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're a fan of Three Days Grace, tell me your ranking in the comments section. What's your favorite song? And I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.